If you are a single woman thinking about purchasing a home in the near future, then you definitely want to stay tuned to today's video. But first, welcome back to all my subscribers. If you are new here, my name is Shira Adato. Here on this channel, I cover what it's like to live, eat, work, play in the South Bay, and of course, everything to do with buying, selling, and investing in homes. So, if that content interests you, definitely go ahead and hit that red subscribe button below. So today I'm covering some important need to knows about buying a home as a single woman. So let's dive in. So did you know that as recent as 1974, a woman couldn't legally get a mortgage unless it was co-signed by a man? Crazy, right? Well, thankfully that is no longer the case and women now have access to the same mortgage programs as everyone else. In fact, single women are now the second largest home buying population in recent years. With women's priorities changing and more and more women wanting to establish their careers before they settle down and marry and purchase a home, more and more single women are choosing to purchase a home on their own. And it's definitely a great way to build wealth. So let's dive into my top tips on what you need to do to prepare to buy a home as a single woman. So number one, as you're gearing up to buy a home, you definitely want to be monitoring your credit. Your credit score is very important and will have a huge impact on your interest rate and therefore your monthly payment on your mortgage. And sometimes there can be errors on your credit reports that take time to fix that you might not even be aware of. And if your credit score is not as high as it could be, there are simple tweaks that you can make to get it up a little bit higher. And this will really impact your interest rate and your mortgage. So it's very important to be monitoring your credit as you're gearing up to buy a home. Number two, have a savings plan. While there are mortgage programs for first time home buyers that let you put less than 20% down, you will have a harder time getting your offer accepted in today's crazy seller's market with less than 20% down. Plus, if you don't have the full 20%, you will often need to pay what's called private mortgage insurance. It's not always the case. There are creative ways that mortgage brokers can structure your loan so that you don't have to pay it, but it's always easier if you do have that 20% down payment. And you also wanna be putting aside money for closing costs and some repairs and things that will be needed as you get ready to move into the home. So you definitely wanna be on top of your budget and have a savings plan. Number three, talk to a mortgage lender sooner rather than later. Most buyers make the mistake of trusting those online mortgage calculators, and those are often really incorrect. So you definitely wanna to talk to a trusted lender who can get you pre-approved. It's very important to know your exact budget before you start home shopping. This will save you a lot of time, energy, and heartache. And working with a good lender can make or break the deal and even make a difference in getting your offer accepted. So definitely wanna start talking to a mortgage lender sooner rather than later. Number four, connect with a realtor who specializes in the area you're looking in. A local specialist will really be able to help guide you into the different micro areas in the neighborhood you're looking at and have discussions with you about what is best for you in terms of single family or do you want a gated community or are there safety concerns? Buying a home is no small beans and you definitely don't want to be going it alone. You want a trusted resource who is going to be there looking out for your best interests, help you make informed, educated decisions, and avoid some of the pitfalls that many home buyers can make when going it alone. So if you're looking to buy a home and you need some help or advice, feel free to reach out. The best way to reach me is by text or call 310-408-4545. You can email homes by Shira at gmail.com. If you found this content helpful, I always appreciate you giving it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button below. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.